Seyran Sohoyan served during the Second Karabakh War. On October 5th, in Karabakh South, he was hit by an Azerbaijani bullet, which damaged his spine and internal organs, rendering him unable to walk. Today, with the help of kinesiologist David Arsenyan and the innovative Metagate device created by the Kailtech team, Seyran can feel his legs again and has started to take his first steps. The device also incorporates virtual reality goggles, allowing the user, who has completely lost mobility, to be able to stand up straight, to ski, play games, and walk among nature. The device is very close to reality. When you connect the device, you enter a virtual reality. There are even scenes where you are falling from a height, and you actually get that feeling with the device, as if you are falling. The device works with all the muscles of the body, not only the legs, but also the back, for example. Kailtech founder David Arsenyan started producing mobility support and rehabilitation devices for wounded soldiers after the 2016 April War. However, experience has shown that men returning home after special rehabilitation programs continue to lead sedentary lives, which can cause further health problems. Arsenyan says that Metagate was created to prevent more than 30 diseases caused by disabilities and paralysis. People come for rehabilitation treatment every three or six months. If he uses the Metagate device at the rehabilitation center, he'll get to a certain level. His blood pressure will stabilize. Then, he will have the opportunity afterwards to practice and use it himself every day at home. And upon returning for the next rehabilitation cycle, doctors will also start observing and working with him, using other tools and programs, until they see what results are being achieved. This way, people can get rehabilitated from the comfort of their own home, which is important for the individual and their family. Some of our colleagues suggested that they could make a large platform where all the disabled users of our device would be able to take a walk and play games together, regardless of them physically being in Yerevan or in the regions. Once they come close to one another in the game, they are able to even hear one another. Another idea was Paralympic esports and cyber tourism, the development process of which will be conducted in Armenia, which could then even spread worldwide for other disabled people to use. To make these goals a reality, the company has launched a fundraising campaign on the Re-Armenia platform in order to attain 35 prototype devices, 25 of which will be given to disabled people, another five will be sent to children's centers, and another five for people with cerebral palsy. There are two crucial things for this. I always put the idea first, not the finance. Then comes the team that should implement the idea before getting to the financing. It's a problem in Armenia, this idea that there is no money, so it's not possible. But we have a very good IT team, production unit, and at administrative levels, who help each other to move forward. Our aim is to earn money from abroad and then spend it here. If we can take Medigate to the international market and make sales, we will then use the money to provide assistance to people with the problems we work with.